Hey guys, good evening from beautiful sunny Mazatlan, where it's still beautiful and kind of sunny, although it's going to go down here very soon. I'm going to try something different tonight, something I've never tried before. Friday night, back in the world headquarters, had a few beer at Edgar's with Lupita and Lively. That was a lot of fun. Oh my god. I love those girls. <laughs> Kept teasing them. I gotta show you something I bought. Just a second. I gotta walk out of screen here for one second. I, I, I should have been more prepared. But that's what makes it a Friday night interview. Uh, I bought this thing. Look at this. My God. It's made by uh, Thermarest, the people that make camping mattresses. And I used to have one of these full-size camping mattresses. But look at this guy. It's just a tiny little thing. It's the size of a seat. It weighs nothing. And I can carry it around, put it on my backpack, and... Oh my God, the bar seats down at Edgar's are like this. There's like sitting on a friggin' rock. And, as I pointed out to Lapita and Lily, they may have bums, but I don't have one. So I got this little pad to sit on. And we're great today. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so anyway, Lapita brought some oatmeal cookies over for my friend Eli. And he had ordered them from her, oh, it's got to be a couple or three weeks ago. And, and she's had all kinds of issues with her knee. God bless her. Anyway, she got them made. She came over today to see me. Brought little Lipperly with her. And picked up the cookies. A dozen cookies. God, they must have weighed a pound and a half. Oatmeal cookies. So Eli just come up. He just lives down the street here. He come up and got them at the world headquarters. He's happy. I'm happy. Lapita's happy. Everybody's happy. Uh, it's a good night. And uh, what else can I tell you? Today, hmm, I went to Western Union because I had put some money in my brother's account that he wanted to pay me back. I had to go pick it up at Western Union. That's always an experience. Oh my God. When you don't speak the language, there's a lineup. Oh, it'd be fun. But, <laughs> and then I met a, a viewer named Dan. God damn it, I forget where Dan told me he was from. Him and his wife, she had a really cool bicycle. Tricycle. <clears throat> Gotta look into them. I got some pictures of it. I'll show you later. So, all in all, it was a great day. Um, oh, Joe, we got it, Joe. Okay, muchas gracias, amigo. I forgot. I ordered a freaking subway sub. I forgot he was even coming. I started this video. But that's good. I got my sub. Um, gracias, amigo. Nada. And, uh, <laughs> that's too funny. <laughs> Man, they bring you this stuff on these little motorcycles and they drive in freaking crazy traffic. Always like 30, 40 motorcyclists killed every year in Mazatlan because they have no concept of safety. None. My phone's ringing. God knows what that's all about. But, <laughs> all in all, life is good. But I, I wanted to say, I was kind of a little tiny bit disappointed uh, yesterday when I posted the video about Barry and Julie providing wheelchairs to people. And Barry says I got the number wrong. He didn't bring down 82 wheelchairs. I'm having a Pacifico, by the way. And I got it in a... Condon from Yuma Prison. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they gave that to me when I got out. Um, yeah, he said he got 60 wheelchairs, not 82. I don't know where the number 82 came from. <laughs> and so anyway, 
Uh, tomorrow afternoon they're going to present a wheelchair to a person that the local Rotary Club has identified as someone in need. Please guys, share that video. Help these guys out. I mean, if you haven't watched it, watch it. Watch it till the end. It's not that long. It's only three or four minutes. And share it. Share it with your friends and say, look at what these people are doing in Nassatan. They're really helping underprivileged people that need help. God, I wish you'd do that. I had somebody unsubscribe today, and I'm thinking, I wonder what it was they didn't like. Like, I really like to know. <laughs> like, they didn't like the fact that my friends are being very charitable charitable to people in Muslim. I mean that was their freaking problem. <laughs> uh, I don't know. So anyway, it was Edgar's today in Chileos, which I rarely, rarely, rarely go to anymore because their beer prices are just absurd. So I left Chileos today. I went to the brand new Otto, it's on the corner where the bank used to be. I tried to buy beer. They don't have any beer. And so I asked the girls, why? And they said, got to be in business for, not sure I understood exactly, but three months or eight months or something before they let you sell beer. She said, go up the street to the other Otto, and it's only about 500 feet away. So I went up there, and I got beer in the Otto. And there's three girls behind the counter cute little Mexicans, and I pay for the beer, a dozen beer, it's about 150, I think it's 154 pesos, which is just a little over 10 bucks US for a dozen beer, or no, 10 bucks Canadian for a dozen beer, and so she gives me my change, and I'm looking at it, and I'm thinking, well that doesn't make sense, anyway, she counted over for me, and I, I kind of looked at it for a second. I said, oh, yeah, 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 you're right. You're, of course you're right. I said, I'm old and stupid. And that's why I didn't understand. But I said, the fortunate thing is, I'm very handsome. And, and the three of them laughed. Hey, <laughs> yeah, clearly. <laughs> clearly. <laughs> and, oh, my God. God, I love Mexico. Uh, other than that, I haven't, haven't, haven't gone to the Olympia for a couple of days. Probably not going back for a while for various reasons, which I'm sure anybody that's watched the channel can surmise. Anyway, guys, I hope you all have a great Friday night. I really do. Mouse and I are here. We're going to have a good one. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.